Okay guys, so it is daytime now, and oh, the nurse arrived. Um, basically, it's really embarrassing to say, but I kind of had to come here like four times because one, I died a lot because honestly, there was like 20 zombies in one section and I fell in that section. So, um, yeah, I died and then I was here again and I was going to drink a potion the this potion which will increase my defense by eight and my defense for my armor is like nine in total so it's gonna basically times two my defense so that's really good um so yeah instead of drinking that potion I accidentally used my uh, uh, what is it called magic mirror and I teleported home right when I got here and let's just say this place isn't like in my backyard so that was really annoying, um, but I am finally here, and I have my potion, so that's good, um, damn it, there's nothing here, well, there's some torches, which, it's alright, I don't want to get, okay, good, my potion is gonna make these guys damage a lot lower, or it hurt me a lot, like, less, so it's good. But these guys like getting around you, and somehow they get through my pickaxe, which doesn't make any sense to me. And why is there so many of them in the first place? You guys have nothing better to do, really. And that's why I like my throwing knives. Pwned! Okay. I have to use these more often. Um. So, uh, was it here? I don't believe it was, but I think it's connected, so it's all good. And if you guys are wondering how the hell I am lighting up the room in my hack soaring, no, I took a shine potion, which is actually going to go in one minute, sadly. But I don't use, I don't have to use it like worry about setting up torches. I can just quickly go through the tunnel and see if there's anything at the bottom instead of like lighting up torches and all that. So. That's why I have that right now. Like that save, like that save. Yes, the demolitionist had the raft. So yeah, I'm really happy I decided to take the time to make more rooms. Because now I have a nurse and a demolitionist. Okay, so there's a shadow orb over- oh yeah, I remember right before I died there was a shadow orb relatively close, so I'll just go to that actually, and I'll use this Demon Altair to make me suspicious looking eyes, and I made four, which is sick. Once I get good armor, I will basically summon all of the eyes with as I can in one night, it's probably be like only a couple. Like, maybe even two. Probably, th yeah, probably two because I should face them, at, like, not too far in through the night because it'd take a while to kill and be run away during uh, the daytime, when it's daytime. So, I will probably only be able to kill two a night, but right now I'm gonna deal with. Oh shit. I don't think two dynamite's even gonna. Oh yeah, it's gonna reach, I think. Fingers crossed it's gonna reach. And yeah, this is a bone stone or whatever the hell it is. Okay. Please, please, please. I'm gonna actually trap this in. So it can do the most damage possible. Like here. Make sure it falls in here. Okay. Please reach. Please reach. Damn it. Okay, well, at least this thing's open. Anything here? Just a shit ton of slimes. And nothing else. Great. Okay, well, then I will get back to you guys when I have more dynamite. Okay guys, so I am back with some more TNT, 
So this is definitely enough and I'll probably be able to break two orbs, maybe even three. Um, so without further ado, let's get this frickin' party started because it took me a long frickin' time to frickin' get this party started in the first place and it's probably not gonna even go in that hole, but that's fine, okay. Yeah, so there we go. I got a musket. Frickin' sick. Um, I'll just take out this. How many musket balls do I have? 44. Where are they though? Oh, they're already in the little slot there. Sweet. So now I have a usable weapon. So that's good. Um, there's another orb. So without further ado, let's get this party started dotted again. Um, hopefully this one will have a different item in it. Bef but it's not gonna, like, I'm not gonna be too surprised if they get another musket again because it seems to me that muskets are, like, common or something for some reason, but, oh shit. Come on, get in my TNT, buddy. Oh, I didn't get in my TNT in time. Oh, I didn't even notice. I got a regeneration potion. Oh, that's good. Um, oh yeah, I can kill that guy with my gun now, but apparently he didn't feel like dying, so whatever. Oh shit. Okay, so I got a fuff. Yes. Okay, so this is a really good weapon against the worm guy that's attacking me right now. Um, it basically... It's a magic weapon, so it uses mana, and I have 60, so n not too bad. It, the really good thing about it is that it can wall people. So it's really good against those worm things because it goes through walls, and so do, th so do they. So I can attack them when they're hiding. So I am really happy that I found this. Um, I just keep it in f right beside my fingers so I can quickly change to that. Um, so now that I have those items, I can kill those bees, and no one's gonna- I'm not gonna be scared of anyone anymore, like, this is my coming of Pwn episode. This is where I just, like, I begin to face everything and say, I ain't scared of you, biatch, episode. So, I just... I use my remaining dynamite to get something from this. Hopefully it's good. And hopefully it's something I don't have. And it prob might reach. My yep, my right, it reached good. Um please, please, please. Oh shit. Warning. The guy, um the dev oh, shit, what is it called? I think it's like something about devourer. Eater of worlds, there we go. When you, I just remembered, when you break three orbs, that guy that just attacked me, yep, yep, he spawns, yep, and so, yep, yep, that guy right there, yep, he spawns, and basically, he's a boss, just like, um, I can't even think right now, because I'm just, like, trying to not die, but, um, oh shit, I got another vile throw, I didn't even notice, which is unfortunate because I wanted a new weapon but it's still good um yeah it's another boss um bosses drop demonite aura and such and shadow scales so I'm not really thinking like I'm not I don't think I'm gonna kill him but when you like take off some of his body parts because he's kind of like a worm. Um, he gives you like ore sometimes, so hopefully I'll be able to get something out of him. Um, yeah. Oh shit! I just okay. I'm definitely not making this because I just ate a freaking mushroom instead of one of these. Uh, and I'll use this, and hopefully twelve damage. 23, okay. And if I had- oh shit, I just tore him in two. And his- his head, or at least one of his heads, 
um, they're like the weak spot so if you can get a clear shot at the head I would try to do so because it is like a weakness I don't have time to get that heart piece unfortunately I just need to survive a bit more unfortunately the room's not lit up good that this thing is really long or else I wouldn't even be able to crap I don't have any ammo left okay throw some bombs H H H H H H H I had like one HP left. Okay. Okay, okay. I actually have a chance. I'm surprised. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually going really well and a lot better than I expected. Um throw some throwing knives at him. Too bad I don't have any tomahawks. If you get my reference, then obviously you're alive during this time and age. Um... Let's see if I can actually defeat him fully. I just need to be able to have a clear shot at his face. But he's coming at angles. Because he's scared of me, because I freaking am poning him. Come on, I can do this. Come at me straight. There we are. But I didn't attack at the right angle, damn it. Okay. Let's get this party started, bro. Wait, if I. I'll use the dynamite to get this thing, and the dynamite will freaking pwn him at the same time. Blow up, blow up now. Okay, let's see what I got. Any HP? No, I didn't. Damn it. Okay, run, run. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. No! Whew! Uh, sorry if you guys heard that clap. That was very intense. Um, and I got a lot of items from that, so I'm happy. Let's just check out my loot. Uh, so, 20 Shadow Scales and 50 Demonite Ore, which you make f uh, Nightmare Armor, whatever it's called, I forget. Or maybe it's even called Demon Armor. No, just a pickaxe is called the name of a pickaxe, but I can't even make any armor yet anyway. Um, I'm gonna make Light's Bane because my short sword sucks. And I am happy now that I have some good items. Um, I can just sell the Foul Thorn. I'll keep the musket, obviously. Uh, I'll keep it at 7, close it's at 6. These throwing eyes are actually really helpful. And. Yeah, that's that for now. Um, I actually have no idea how long this episode's gonna be because I had to do a lot of behind the scenes, so to say. So, I think it'll be around 15 minutes, maybe a bit less. And now that I have all these items. I will continue to get, like, I saw a heart crystal and one more orb, so I'll shatter that. And I probably will face the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, maybe twice even, um, next episode. So I will see you guys later, and I hope you guys like this episode, because this is, like, the episode where, like, in the movies where the bad guy does all the training, and then... He like freaking like gets ready to fight the good guy or the bad guys. Sorry, this is the point I'm at. I'm ready to kick ass now with all the stuff I have. So, like the light spain, Valthorn, my freaking musket. I'm ready to do some work. So, uh, stay tuned for next episode because I guarantee it, it will be good. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Here's an epic preview of next episode, and if you like my shit. Give it a thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe, motherfucker.